Hello and welcome back to Ham Radio Over the Coax with K0OTC. In this video we will be looking at the Tiny MIDI USB-C device from N6 ARA. It is a capacitive touch iambic paddle and 3.5 millimeter key adapter. The Tiny MIDI is powered via USB and uses Bluetooth low energy to emulate a MIDI or keyboard device. I'll start by showing you what comes in the box. So here's what you get in the box when the device is delivered. The tiny MIDI USB device itself, there's just a protective cover on here. Underneath is the USB-C port. The switch here on the top switches it on the left is keyboard mode, on the right is Bluetooth mode. The ca capacitive touch paddles are on either side here. And then on the back side is the 3.5 millimeter jack to plug in an external keyer if you wish to use it in that way. And also is included is this tiny little hex key, which you'll want to hang on to that because you need it to adjust on either side of this USB-C plug. Um, there's some adjustments which can be made so it properly fits into your device. You want it to be as secure uh, and flush with your device as possible to prevent any sway either way. The first step in setting up the software on my iPad is to download the Tiny MIDI app from the App Store. This is what it looks like in the App Store on my iPad. I've already downloaded that. I'm just going to click on Open here. And this is what the screen looks like. I do have the device plugged into the USB-C port. I can click Scan for Devices. And here it's showing up in the list. If I just click on it, now it says it's a saved device. And then it, it's asking to pair via Bluetooth. So I'm going to click on Pair. And we, we see it says connected across the top, connected to Tiny MIDI. So that's all I need to do here. Next up, I'll show you the steps in Smart SDR software to be able to actually use that. Now that the device is paired via Bluetooth to my iPad, I opened up the Smart SDR software, and I need to go under the Tools menu and MIDI controller. And once I'm in here, in this drop down, you want to make sure you select the device, which the bottom one is my tiny MIDI device. Under compatibility, you want to leave it as DJ2G02. And then under edit mapping, I've added both the buttons. So you want to add two buttons there. In order to do that in the top right, you just click plus and then add button. And you can see it adds it with the number of zero. Just click on that zero and then you can click in and change the button number to whatever you want. Now in the instructions it does say to use button numbers 20 and 21 which is what I did. And then for each of those buttons then button number 20 I have as trigger CW right paddle which is just in the in the drop down list you can select that. And for 21 I have trigger CW left paddle. And that's all you need to do in Smart SDR software. Now that things are all connected up, I will give it a test here. I've got the switch in the right position again for MIDI, which I had to have it in that position to connect it earlier. The capacitive touch is on just either side here of the device. And I can just try and uh, put my call sign in here. And just like that, it's that simple. Um, and I'm in the CW mode, of course, in the software, and, and you can see it, it picked it up as K0OTC. Next up, I'm going to show you how to connect a, an external keyer into the 3.5mm uh, jack. Okay, so I haven't changed any settings on the device or anything. I've got the uh, device is still connected. It's still, the switch is still to the right. I did plug in a 3.5mm uh, audio cable to this key, which is just one I picked up off of Amazon. You've maybe seen these from other uh, on other YouTube channels. Uh, but then I can just test this and we'll see if that's working out. And there you go. I've got K0OTC. And that worked just fine. Uh, and that's all there is to it. I've tested it with a couple different keys. They all work just fine. Here's a picture of the Tiny Mini device plugged into an anchor power supply in my shack. Because the device is connected to my phone or iPad via Bluetooth, I don't need to have it connected directly to either of those devices. This power supply worked great to provide power to the Tiny MIDI. In this test, I used an external keyer. 
you can see the 3.5 millimeter audio cable connected to the Tiny MIDI. One last thing I'd like to mention is this USB-C to 3.5 millimeter audio adapter and charger two-in-one cable shown here. This is not required to use the Tiny MIDI device, but I have found it helpful. By using this, I'm able to connect it directly to my phone or iPad and connect the USB MIDI device to the USB-C port, as well as a pair of wired headphones to the 3.5 millimeter adapter port. There are times when there can be Bluetooth latency issues. So by having a pair of wired headphones connected, it seems to help with that a lot. In closing, would I recommend the N6 ARA Tiny MIDI device? Yes, it seems to work well and is simple to set up. I would encourage you to look at the website for, for the device to see additional software it's compatible with, as well as to check out the user manual. It is very good. It provides clear instructions as well as great screenshots to help make the process as easy as possible. I plan to keep the device with me while traveling so I can remotely control my radio and make CW contacts. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate that. Please like, comment, and subscribe to help the channel grow. 73.